Okay. Do you see the screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. So again, as I mentioned, this is actually I'm taking it from the final exam exercise, which is consists of all the chapters that yes. we have in the classes. Okay, starting from chapter one until the end next two weeks in chapter 22. But everything will be here. And again, if you study today and study again before the final exam, you just watch the video, the, the recording, then I believe you should get you know very good grade on the final exam. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, this is a kind of instruction how to do this exercise. First, you know, you have to study uh, chapter one until 22 before really taking this exercise. Because without study, you might answer the questions uh, randomly or just guessing, okay, without really know what is the correct answer, right? If you study first, then you might be able to answer that based on your knowledge. And then prepare piece of paper uh, to write your answer. And then there will be two or three seconds after the each question to write your answer. Actually, this for this exercise, there will be two or three seconds to choose your answer. Okay. And okay. then after that, there will be answer key for each question. Okay. After you answer yourself, there will be answer key. And then you compare between your answer and the key, whether correct or not. Okay. And repeat the process until you get 100% correct answer. This means that you can repeat the video uh, over and over until you get 100% correct answer. You can skip the question that you already know. Okay, you already you know yeah. confidence of that question. I, I know this. Okay, you can skip that and continue to the next question. That is maybe uh, you need more time to understand that question. Okay, and the answer. Okay, and then again, make sure that 100% correct answer is based on your knowledge, not guessing, okay, not just clicking, clicking, but you sure that you have the correct answer because you know it, okay? And I mentioned before, it is very, very likely that you will get a very good score on your final exam if you follow this instruction correctly. Okay, so today we actually learn together, so we're going to follow this uh, uh, methods, okay, this uh, instruction. Okay, now we start with question number one. So which of the following correct order of biological organisms from simple to the most complex one? So which one do you think is the, the correct answer for this question? And you have learned this, right? Uh, chemical, yes. Yeah. Which one do you think the best answer? B. Yeah, let's see. So when you answer this, remember the simplest one is atom, right? Atom. So you yes. actually have two choices that start with atom, what A and B, right? And then after atoms, atom will create a molecule. So both of them the same, what? Molecules. And after molecules, it's not organ because organ is very complex, it's a tissue. That's, you know, after that, you know that that should be the answer. Okay, so your answer was correct. You're good. See, I know you, <laughs> I know you know. Okay, that's correct answer. Okay, look at if you already know this, then you can skip it. And then it's kind of, oh, okay, I know this already. Okay, and then the brain, the brain is a, it is a cell, tissue, organ, or organ system. C organ. Yes, yeah, see, I, I told you, you, you are ready actually. <laughs> okay, you good. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I try to build you confident here. You know, okay, at least you already have one hundred percent for these two questions. <laughs> <laughs> Next, okay, the digestive system is considered as an organ system because it consists of. Or E organs? Yeah, see, I told you, organ system consists of 
organs. Eh? And that's the correct answer. Good. Now, the smallest unit of matter is the, remember the definition. This is actually coming from the definition. Blank is the smallest unit of matter. What is that? An atom. Yes. Wonderful. You got it, Scott. Next. The smallest unit of life now. Okay. Before is smallest unit of matter. What's the smallest unit of life? A cell. Yes. You got it, Scarlett. You ready? <laughs> you ready answer all the <laughs> questions. See? It's not that difficult, right? Just just relax. Okay. Just feel confident that I know. Okay. I know the answer. I'm ready. Okay. Don't don't be, you know, kind of stressed when taking the exam. Just, you know, you, you're ready, okay? Which of the following is the mismatch? That is not a match. Skin, organ, neuron, cell, epithelium, tissue, respiratory system, organ system, brain, is a tissue? E, brain, yes, tissue. Yeah, that's right. Skin is an organ, that's correct. What neuron is actually nerve cell, so it is a cell. Epithelium, it is epithelial tissue, it is a tissue. Respiratory system is telling you this is an organ system. Okay, so the one that is mismatched is not correct, is a brain because brain is a what? Brain is a brain is a isn't a tissue organ. Yeah, it is an organ, correct. So brain is an organ. So that's the correct answer. Okay, during winter, bears are hibernating. This is an example of which characteristic of life? Why they, they are hibernating during the winter time? B. Yes. Response right. to the environment. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> you good. Of course, it is not reproduction, right? So you, you cross the, the one that is not you know, uh, really correct. Organization is not. Energy transformation is not. It's kind of metabolism between response. But the, the correct, the best answer is the response to the environment. Okay, how about the next one? During exercise, our body is starting to produce sweats. This is an example of which characteristic of life. Is it E? No. You remember when when our body temperature is increasing, we have to make it balance. So we produce the sweat. So this is this process is called what? Main. Maintaining Maintain. homeostasis. homeostasis. Right. So when your blood mm -hmm. pressure increase, okay, your heart is actually. Uh, pumping uh, slower. That's also homeostasis. Okay, so we maintain our uh, condition, okay, including this. Okay, so this would be what maintaining the homeostasis. This homeostasis. is not yeah. This is not energy transformation. Energy transformation is uh, when we talk about from the light into the food. Okay, by the plant. And then from the food we eat it, it's become ATP. That's transformation. Okay? Okay. You get it? Okay. Yes. Take, okay, take it out. And again, I will, I hope it, it will be recorded. Okay. <laughs> I will send you the uh, recording letter. Okay. Okay. Okay, the next one. The correct steps of scientific method. And you have to know what is start with for the scientific method, and then what is the the last step.
E, observation, hypothesis, prediction, experiment, conclusion. That's correct. Okay. So from here, you can cross the one that is not correct. Like experiment is not the <laughs> experiment is not the last result, right? You, you cannot have the result when you're still in the experiment, right? The last result should be conclusion over here, right? And the first step should be observation. You correct. Okay, that's sometimes how you know to get rid of the one that is not correct. Right? Like observation is also not the final product, right? So you're gonna come to this uh, answer, which is E. Good. A scientist is studying predator prey interaction. He observed a rabbit was eaten by a snake and the snake was eaten by eagle. How many consumers he observed? Two. What is that? What? Which C. one? I mean, your answer is yes, yeah, C. Oh, why you say two? What are the consumers that you mentioned in, in your answer? Oh, the snake and the eagle. The snake is an eagle. Look at this, okay? Look at this. This is, let's say this is a grass, right? And then the grass eaten by the rabbit, right? Is this rabbit? I hope it looks like rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right? Okay, and then rabbit eaten by snake. Okay. And then snake eaten by eagle. Okay. But look, rabbit also eat what? Grass. It's the grass. So rabbit is also consumer, consumer, consumer. The only one is not consumer is actually this. The plant is called the producer. Okay. So mm -hmm. anything else over here is so gonna be. <laughs> so you change your answer. Which one now? Uh, D three consumers. D, you can see one. Now you know that rabbit is also consumer, even though that rabbit is eaten by the snake. But still, in the nature, rabbit is a consumer. Okay. Yeah. You you understand this? Yes. Yeah. Don't <laughs> don't be confused with that that uh, question over here. Uh, it's actually try to trick you. But just make sure everything else is consumer except the plant. Okay, the plant and algae, the one that make the food is called the producer. The rest will be consumer. Okay. Okay, how about this? A scientist is studying predator prey interaction. He observed a rabbit was eaten by a snake. The snake was eaten by eagle. So how many producers? he observed in this study? One. Okay, remember I yeah. mentioned before, the only producer it's is zero. Because zero. it doesn't mean. Yeah, producer is plant, okay, and algae. And you don't see any things mentioned about the plant and algae, just rabbit, snake, eagle. Mm -hmm. All of them are consumers, right? So what is the yes. correct answer will be? A, zero. Zero. There is no producers uh, on that study. Okay. Mm -hmm. A scientist is studying predator prey interaction. He observed a rabbit was eaten by a snake. The snake was eaten by eagle. What level organizations that he studied? Okay. Uh, would it be community? Yes. Okay. No, Remember, it would be 
Yes, I do actually have the correct answer. Okay. Yeah, look, look, the, the sequence, right? So we start with, let's say we start with atoms. Atoms combine to make molecule, right? Can you see my writing? Yes. Okay, molecules then make cell. Cell make tissue. Tissue will become organs. Organ become organ system. And organ system become organism, right? We continue here. Mm -hmm. Organism then become species, right? And species, uh, the same species group together to make population, like just human, that's going to be population. If we include other species, like in this case, you have snake, you have rabbit, you have eagle, all of them is living thing, uh, it's called community. Okay? If you adding the uh, non-living environments like the soil, okay, the, the weather, rain or whatever is become ecosystem. Okay. And then the whole ecosystem in the world is called biosphere. Okay. So the study is only talking about rabbit, which is one population, and then snake, another population, eagle, another population. So all population making what we call this community. Okay. So this study is study about community. Is that correct? Community. Community. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You get the correct answer, but you change it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might have been ecosystem, uh, but it didn't is, talk about like, yeah, plants. Right. No, plant is still so, living. The plant is still living thing. It's they're not plants. The weather, weather or soil conditions, yeah. that's, that's going to be making ecosystem. But if, it, if I put plant over here, it's still community because plant are living thing, right? Yes. Okay. The main decomposer in an environment are Composer is the one that decomposes dead materials. Plant. No, plant is a producer, right? Plant producer. Yeah. Okay, it's not decomposer. Okay. Bacteria? Yes, that's the correct answer. Algae is also producer. Okay. Protozoa yeah. animal, they actually eat this. Okay? So protozoa eat algae. They eat living things. Animal also sometimes eat plant or eat other animal, right? So they are not <laughs> produce, uh, they are not decomposer. Decomposer is the one that decompose dead materials if you throw the trash like banana peel for example after certain time maybe three days one week is decomposed so which organism that perform that action okay that's actually bacteria and fungi so fungi also has a function to decompose dead material but in this case you are correct so the answer will be bacteria okay but if i put fungi there will be fungi too okay okay the process of blank lead to the organism that are adapted to that environment i think we mentioned this last week when we talk about darwin Natural selection? Yes, that's natural selection. So natural selection will lead to the organism that adapted to the environment. 
Okay. Next, which of the following is the most inclusive level of organization? Remember, inclusive means is include everything. So the biggest kind of organization. E Atmos or uh, Biosphere. Biosphere, correct. Okay, so this is the most inclusive one. The opposite of inclusive is exclusive. Okay, is the if the question asking you what is the the most exclusive one, it will be the smallest one, which is the atom. Okay, you get this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so correct. Yes. It's a biosphere inclusive. Yeah, this is just the picture. Biosphere is include everything. Therefore, it is the most inclusive one. Okay, next. Which of the following is the most inclusive taxon? It's include everything. Okay, what do you think? I don't know. I remember I last think, time when maybe. we talk about classification, all organisms include in only three, three what? Bacteria, archaea, eukarya, what do you call this? The class? No, class is smaller. Okay. Domain is uh, the most okay. inclusive one. Remember, there are three domains of organism, okay? whether yeah. bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. Under the domain, there is kingdom. So which one is most inclusive between domain and kingdom? It's going to be domain because domain, domain. yeah. And then under the kingdom, there is a file. Remember, there are five kingdoms over here, right? Monera, uh, Protista, Fungi, Plan, and Animal. Okay? Under kingdom, there is phylum. Under phylum, there is class. So class is smaller than phylum, right? Under classes, there is a orders. The okay, order is smaller than class. And then under the order, there is family. Okay? And then under family, there is a genus. And the most exclusive one will be species. Okay? You get this? Okay, which one? Okay, which one is the most inclusive one? It's gonna be domain. The domain. Okay, domain. What is the next one? In this, in this choice over here, like what the is most, the most inclusive one up and, and after domain. Phylum. Phylum. What is the next one? Class. Class. What is the next one? Family. Ah, okay, that's good. Okay, so if if there is no domain over there, if I just put phylum, then choose the phylum. You get this one? Yep. Okay, next. Okay, this is just a picture of that. Now, how about this? Which of the following is the most exclusive taxon? Species. Species. Okay, that's the smallest group. Right? It's going to be species. That's the rest. Did you see the warning that we have 10 more minutes, right? No, but... Uh, you, don't, you don't see the warning. So I, I, get, the, I get the warning. Oh, I see the it team. now. Okay. Yeah. So we will, about five minutes, we will close, but I will invite you again to continue. Okay, that's okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute.
Okay, the next one. Which of the following process transform? Okay, this is energy transformation. Light energy into chemical energy. What is the name of the process that making the food in plant? That's actually the question. Oh, sorry. Photosynthesis. Yes, correct. You got it. See? So when the light energy will go to the plant, okay? and then plants will convert this light energy into food. Okay, let's say fruit over here. Okay, let's say this is apple tree. <laughs> okay, and then this apple will be eaten by us, okay? and it will be converted into ATP. So this is conversion of energy. And the first process over here is called the photosynthesis. Correct. Now, which of the following process transform chemical energy into ATP? What is the name of that process? Okay, what's the name of this process over here? Okay, of course it is not photosynthesis because that's in the plan. Mm -hmm. Would it be E? No, it is not hydrolysis mm -hmm. because hydrolysis means you using water to break down something, and this is not, this one is not phagocytosis, phagocytosis is usually what blood cell eating the bacteria. So, so it will be a. called the cellular respiration. Okay, cellular respiration is the process that making ATP. And you remember the name of organelles that perform cellular respiration in our cell? Organelle that making ATP? Is called start with M. Mm. Mitosis? No, my mitochondria. Mitochondria. Okay. So cellular resolution is done in mitochondria. Okay. I think I'm gonna stop here and then I will create another invitation. Just wait, okay? Uh, and then you can okay. Click the links again. Okay. okay. So we stop in number 19. Okay, so we are here, right? So which of the following yes. process transfer chemical energy into ATP? A cellular respiration. A cellular respiration. Okay, this is the answer. And which organelle perform this cellular respiration? The mitochondria. Mitochondria. Okay, that's correct. Which of following organelle response? <laughs> okay, which? Of the following organ are responsible for cellular respiration? The mitochondria. <laughs> yeah, you already got this. <laughs> okay, mitochondria. Which of the following consider as an ecosystem level? Okay, so we have learned before, right? Ecosystem. A is all human in specific place. 
B. All living organism and specific place. C. All living organism and their non-living condition in specific place. D. All the 11 organ system. E. Group of organs that perform specific function in the body. So which one is ecosystem? C. C. That's correct. Living thing and non-living condition. So A is a population. It's only talking about one species. Group of species is called population. If it is all living organism without non-living condition, it is called a community. community. Right. This one, ecosystem. Oh, sorry. Okay. All 11 organ system make what? Organism, right? Mm -hmm. And then group of organs. Group of organ is called organ system. Organ system. So that's C is the correct answer. Good. Which of the following is one of the six major elements of living things? Zinc, calcium, carbon, iron, or silver. The major elements in our body, in living cell. There are six of them, okay? One of them is here. Carbon? Yes, okay. So that six major elements in living thing is carbon, oxygen, Hydrogen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. But that's the six major elements. Carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Okay, so this one over here, one of them, carbon. Next, which of the following is trace element of living things? Trace element, I mean, we have it, but it's a smaller number. So which one do you think the trace element? This is opposite of the major elements, okay? Zinc, oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, or nitrogen. What do you think? E. Mm -hmm. Remember before? Eh, let us go back to previous. See, that's the major element, six over here. Carbon, yeah, yeah. oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. This is okay. major element. The opposite of major element is the trace element. So which one is the trace element over here? Zinc. Yes, because this is major element, this is major element, this is major element, this is also major element, okay? So the one is trace elements in our body is zinc, okay? Other, like we also have magnesium, we have iron in our body, but they are in a very small concentration. That's what we call the trace element. Okay, which of the following subatomic particle is located on the shell? Okay, remember an atom, it has nucleus inside and there is a shell. Okay, so which one's located in the shell of an atom? A. Okay, proton and neutron, proton and neutron is located in the, in the nucleus, right? Because proton is positive charge, it is in the nucleus. Neutron is neutral and electron is negative. And this is the one that's located in the, on the shell, okay? 
So the answer should be electron. So you have electron over here on the shell. Okay, you get this one? So make sure you get this. That proton neutrons are in the nucleus and the electron located on the shell. Okay, which of the following subatomic particle carry positive charge? Which one positive? The proton. Yes. Okay, this one positive, this one neutral, and this one negative charge. You get this one, right? So if you mm -hmm. get this one, yeah, it should be, you know, this will help you a lot in the exam. Proton is positive. Now, atomic number is based on the number of what? A, B, C, or D. Proton, neutron, electron, or ion. Okay. So, atomic number um. is always equal of the number of neutron hmm? which one i said neutron but i don't think that's right it's not it's not correct remember atomic number is equal to the number of the protons that oh, an atom has okay so that's make sure you Memorize that atomic number is for protons. Okay. It is a proton. Okay. Isotopes and elements differ in their number of proton, neutron, electron, or ions. I give you example over here. C, C, C. Is always have the same atomic number, which is six, six, and six. But they sometimes have different atomic mass. Maybe this is 12, 13, and 14. Okay, so this is atomic number. This is atomic mass. Atomic mass is equal to proton plus neutron okay so if we take this 12 over here 12 then the proton is always six right so what is actually different over here between 12 13 and 14 what make that number different the number of Neutron. Yes, because that's the formula, right? Atomic mass is proton plus neutron. If you have 12 over here, then the neutron will be 6, okay? But if you take this one, 13, remember proton is always the same, 6. Then what happened? You have 7 neutron over here, right? If you take this one, then what happened? Proton is always six okay, for carbon, then you have eight of neutron. So these one that are different, they make different in what we call the isotope. Okay, different in their neutron. You you, you get this, Scarlett? Mm -hmm. Okay. Next. An atom that loses or gains electron is called as a what? Okay. Like sodium, for example, it has 11 proton. Okay. So it will have 11 protons in it plus 11. Okay. And then on the shell, remember the first cell will always carry two electrons. The next cell maximum of eight. 
8. So total is now is 10. So we need one more. Okay, one more will be here. Okay, this is sodium atom. The sodium able to kick this one out. Okay, when it is out, what happened? Then you have plus 11, but you have negative 10. It means that it's become extra positive because you have 11 positive and negative is on the chain. So this is the chains. Okay, this is actually lose the electron is become positive. Now, what do you call this one? If this one is atom, atom that lose or gain electron is called? An ion. Ion. It is an ion. So this is actually called a sodium ion. Okay. Good. So let's see. The atom that carries charge is also known as a as the same thing just before. What is that? Atom like sodium is carry charge. What you call this? Um, we just no. This is not atom. You know, atom is atom is like this. When it is losing, electron is become this, right? So what yeah. you call, this is atom. What do you have? Atom that carry charge is called ion. Ion, like chloride. Um, okay, chloride is an atom, but when it's gain, electron is become chloride negative, and this one is not atom anymore. It is an ion. Okay, you see the difference between atom and ion? Yes. If you have charge uh, on that name or that symbol, that is become ion. It's not atom anymore. Get it? Yes. Okay, next. Two or more atoms are binding together to form what? Ions, molecules, cell, tissue or organ. Combination of atom is called? A molecule. Molecule. Okay, remember this. Atom combined to make molecule, right? Molecule mm -hmm. make cell and continuously. I hope you, you remember that, okay? It will help mm -hmm. you a lot. Okay, so the answer will be molecules or compounds. Which of the following type of chemical bonds share electron? Okay, remember there are three types of chemical bonds, covalent bond, ionic bond, hydrogen bond. Which one share electron? That's going to be the strongest type of bond. So, the covalent bond? Yes. Covalent bond, yeah, share electron, and this is the strongest one. Okay, hydrogen bond is the weakest one. Okay, okay, so the weakest bond is hydrogen bond. Covalent bond, strongest bond, because what? Because share, share electron. The weak attraction between water molecule is known as. I uh, already mentioned this weak. This is a weaker type of bond. Weak attraction. Uh, the hydrogen that, bond. That's the hydrogen bond. That's good. Due to unequal sharing of electrons, water molecule is a polar, non-polar, hydrophobic, or neutral. So this is water molecule, it's like that. This is oxygen. It has two hydrogen. Okay. The hydrogen is actually carry positive charge over here. Okay. While the oxygen side carry negative charge. 
Okay, so it has chart. This is a chart molecule. Okay, so which one do you think referred to is molecule that have chart? It is polar or non-polar? Polar? Yes, it's polar. Not neutral is not because okay, you know it is charged. So non-polar is actually do not have char, is the same as hydrophobic. The one that carry char is called the polar molecule. This is the same as hydrophilic molecule. Okay? So that's the uh, similarity between polar and hydrophilic. Non-polar with hydrophobic molecule. Yes, that's correct. So answer should be polar or hydrophilic. Okay, pH meter measure the concentration of blank in a solution. Calcium ion, sodium ion, hydrogen ion, hydroxide ion, or chloride ions. What the pH meter is telling you over here, pH. What it is meant? Hydrogen. Yes, it's measure the age. Okay, right? So it's referred yes. to the name, right? It's measure the hydrogen ions. Okay. That's that's how you kind of try to uh, find the keyword. <laughs> Sometimes this is a keyword that telling you what is the key OPH going to be H, which is hydrogen. A solution that has pH smaller than 7 is known as, so that pH meter, it has range okay, between 1 to 14. The middle number is 7. And this is what we call the neutral. Okay, neutral pH. If it is lower than 7, it, has a, it is a name. It has name. What is that? Basic, acidic, neutral, or salt. B? Yes, it is. When it is lower than seven, it's called acidic. Eh? If it is higher than seven, it is called. What do you call it if it is higher than seven? Basic. Basic, right. If it is equal to seven, then it is neutral, right? So for this question, the answer is acidic because smaller than seven. A solution, <laughs> okay. A solution that has pH higher than seven is known as higher than seven. Oh, basic. <laughs> That's a basic. Okay. You get this one, right? If you get it today, I believe you still have it when you take the final exam. Don't forget that, right? 37. Which of the following solutions is the most acidic? Okay. A, pH 2.0, B, 5.0, C, 7.0, D, 10, A, 14. Which one is the most acidic solution? Of course, the, the lowest the number is the more acidic. Okay. So the answer will be A. Very acidic solution. Okay, which of the following solution is neutral? A, 2. C. B, 7 is neutral. Okay, you get it, this one, okay, scalar, right? Should be easy mm -hmm. for you. Smaller, neutral, and higher. So you can skip this one if you already know later if you study again. Uh, a blank solution can take excess of hydrogen or hydroxide ions to control the pH in neutral condition. Now, what do you call the solution that able to perform that action? Take extra hydrogen or take extra hydroxide ion. 
A acidic, B alkaline, alkaline, C basic, D neutral, E buffer. Buffer. Yes, that is called buffer. So buffer is any condition or any solution that able to take extra acid or extra basic to make it neutral. Okay, that's called the buffer. The outermost uh, outermost electron shell is known as I think we haven't studied this one. So like this is a nucleus of the atom, you have the first shell, the second shell, the third shell, and continuously. So the last cell over here is called the valence cell. Okay, so valence cell is the outer, the outermost of uh, atomic shell. Okay, That's, this is kind of adding information to you, right? What is the name of the outermost electron shell? Valence The valence yes, shell. Yes, valence cell, yes, okay. That's just a terminology. Oxygen atom has atomic number of eight. How many electrons will be in the valence cell and the outermost one? Okay, so oxygen, it has atomic number eight. So how many will be on the last shell? Remember the rule, right? So for the rules, there will be eight protons, over here, because it is eight proton, there will be also eight electrons. Right? But remember the rule: the first electron shell only carry how many? Two. Two. Yes. Now the rest, the this is what we call the valence cell, the outermost cell will carry how many? Remember, this is eight. You already have six. Six. One, two. Three, four, five, six. So which one is the correct answer? A, B, C, D, or E? Uh, C. C, C. Okay, do you know how to get it? Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. That's six over there. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six on the phylum cell. Now, what is the maximum number of electrons can be taken in the first cell? That's the rule. How many? Two. Two. Yeah, you already get this one, right? So you should be okay with this. Only two. It's called a duplet rule. Now, how about the next one? What is the maximum number of electrons can be taken on the second, third, or the next shell. Two, four, six, eight, or nine. Remember eight. the rule. Eight, yeah, this is called the octet rule. Huh? So the first one is duplet rule, only two. The next one, eight. Uh, it's called the octet rule. You already get this one also, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, you get it, that's good. Which of the following model is organic small group? Remember, organics mean complex. Okay, that's the key. Is complex mean just choose the one that has more atoms. So which one do you think has more atoms? B. B. So this one is organic. The rest is unorganic, simple. It's only three over here. This is three atoms. This is two atoms. Right? This is and A and C L to add. This one has 24, right? Which is make it complex. Good job. Next, protein is a polymer that consists of many monomers. What is the monomer of the proteins? You should remember the monomer of proteins.
Okay. I think we learn for organic molecules. In our class, we learn carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic, nucleic acid. Okay, the monomer. The monomer of carbohydrate is called monosaccharide. Okay. The monomer of protein is, which one do you think? Amino acid? Yes, this one amino acid over here. The lipids, the monomer is called fatty acid. Okay, and the mono monomer of nucleotide, uh, nucleic acid is called the nucleotide. Okay. So protein, amino acid. Okay? Protein made of many amino acids. That's good. So try to memorize this, right? Carbohydrate, monosaccharide, proteins, amino acid, lipid, fatty acid, nucleic acid, nucleotides. Starch is a polymer that consists of many monomers. What is monomer of starch? Start is a carbohydrate. Okay. So which one do you think the monomer of carbohydrates? Monosaccharides, amino acid, fatty acid, nucleotides, or water? Um Go back to here. So you see this this table? The carbohydrates, the so monomer the, is called the mo monosaccharide. Yes. So this one is the monomer of carbohydrate. It's called monosaccharide. Saccharide means sugar, mono means single. So this is single sugar. Lipids. Okay, lipid says as oil is a polymer that consists of many monomers. Now, what is a monomer of oil? So, oil is lipid. Okay. Fatty acids. Yes, wonderful. So, try to memorize that, the four things over there, because at least there will be four questions <laughs> for, for that, right? For the polymer and monomer. So, lipid is fatty acid. Okay, this is a reminder, we still have 10 more minutes, okay. Fatty acid. How about this one? Nucleic acid is a polymer. What is the monomer of nucleic acid? So DNA, RNA is nucleic acid. So nucleotides? Yes, the monomer is called nucleotide. Which of the four molecule is a monosaccharide single sugar? Lactose is consists of two sugar. And this is how lactose look like. Maltose is the same. It has two sugar like this. Glucose only have one sugar. Cellulose, it has many sugar. Okay. Sucrose, it has two sugar. So which one is the one that has single sugar? Glucose. Glucose. So glucose is example of monosaccharide. Okay, which of the following pair is mismatched? Starch, polysaccharide, glycogen, polysaccharide, glucose, polysaccharide, cellulose, polysaccharide, protein, polypeptide. C. Yes, why? Because glucose is mono, right? It should be monosaccharide. You get it, okay? 